My name is Saba Shams, and I'm the scenic designer for Good Breeding. So a scenic designer essentially comes up with the physical world of the play. The only way that I can describe Good Breeding is that it is essentially an explosion of emotion. So the whole show is about breaking down power structures and rebuilding new ones in their place and finding out those don't work and trying to, to find some semblance of structure in all of this chaos. Um, I think this production is definitely an interesting one. Um, the way the play is sort of set out, the way Robert O'Hara wrote this play, it's almost a devised piece without actually being devised. The script calls for a lot of um, impossible stage directions. So whoever is producing this show can create something completely new and extraordinary every time they do it. Our timeline was shortened because the show was actually changed to Good Breeding in this show slot about a month before my preliminary designs were due. So because of that, I didn't really get to do all of the things that I would normally do in terms of a scenic design. I took all of the emotions that I was sort of feeling from this show and I put them into a physical world. Um, so it, people kind of ask, you know, where is this supposed to take place? When is this supposed to take place? Nowhere, everywhere at the same time. Um, the set itself is, is almost like this one huge motion frozen in time which I think is kind of the point of this entire show. I guess the star piece of my scenic design would be this massive sculpture that kind of comes out of the center of the trap where there's this spiral staircase and swirls up to, to the grid and pretty much takes up that entire space from floor to ceiling, which is very exciting. Like a lot of the set, it's supposed to capture a sort of feeling. Um, and I really liked the idea of this sort of chaos and explosion, but suspended in time, because I think that's incredibly important to the show. There are a lot of moments where um, time sort of stops and everyone's frozen, um, and the gods are manipulating time and space a lot. And I think that just shows their just boundless power that they're trying to use over the humans. Um, and I wanted that to be a really important part of the design and, and the first thing you see when you walk into the room. I definitely thought there would be more technical concerns than there were. I kind of sat down with the technical director. I didn't expect him to be okay with all of it. And I was fully ready for him to reject my entire design, say it was not possible, say we didn't have the money, we couldn't do it, physics you know, does its thing, this isn't gonna work. Um, but he just sort of looked at, at my drafts and he looked at me and he said, I'm not scared of any of this. Every single part of my design that I thought would be impossible, he said yes to. And he said it was able to happen. The shop is so resourceful in finding what they need. I mean, they've all been really amazing in, in trying to, to get this thing up on its feet and make it what I envisioned it to be. So that's a really exciting thing. Um, I wasn't denied any of it. Good Breeding will be running from February 20th through the 23rd in the Semmel Theater. Tickets are available at emersontheaters.org. I hope to see you there.